Hello friends, I am Oom and today we are diving the fantastic world of Linux in GNOME specifically because yes, today is the day I uncover the truth about GNOME desktop environment. And the short answer to the whole video is that yes, yes, GNOME is amazing, no doubt about it. If you want a beautiful, stable, reliable, full-fledged desktop experience with fluid animations, amazing workspace, amazing multitasking, then yes. GNOME is the way to go and today I'm going to show it to you all my workspace around the GNOME desktop environment. So let's get right into the video. So first thing first, the number one reason I love GNOME is its applications. You see all the GNOME applications as you can see here are amazing, just amazing. All of them follow the same system wide theme. So let's say if I applied Orcus GDK theme then it is applied to each and every application in GNOME desktop environment, literally in each of the application here. And the second reason is that GNOME camera, this particular application of GNOME actually records amazingly. Like it is not recording, it's just showing the preview. Can you believe it is a one megapixel laptop camera with decent lighting, like the lighting is not that good. And still you can see it's pretty great in my opinion. Let me just show you, it is GNOME projects, GNOME camera, the latest 48 version. Yep. And then let me just talk about the whole desktop, GNOME desktop. So first thing first, it's obvious. The GNOME desktop literally works flawlessly. Like if you ask me, GNOME is the stock Android or the Google Pixel of Android with the power of Linux to apply on, you know, customize anything you want. The whole design language of each and every component in the whole system is just flawless. Literally, man, hell, like, you see, it is 3 a.m. in the morning right now and I have not slept yet because I was creating videos. Now, GNOME has been working pretty awesome, like really. It uses Valent flawlessly. It is using the latest 48 version, GNOME 48. And with that, the well-being feature is pretty usable for me. But besides that, all the other stuff works awesomely. Like really, man, the whole desktop in particular is pretty beautiful. And now you might be wondering like what's new about it. Like yes, GNOME looks good, feels good and has sort of a material you design, sort of. But why just staying GNOME and not trying any other distribution? Well, yeah, I have tried KDE, Cosmic, Hyperland, literally so many. But in the end, I want stability in my life. And as you can see, I can create any number of desktops and access each of them easily i can you know do multitasking without a doubt and all the work i have to do is literally done amazingly like i can open no matter how many workspaces and still it's gonna just start and end up creating more and more and more literally man whoa take a look at the activities button this is damn good and you see it feels very fluid and let's say i want to switch to any other desktop then i can just go up just like that or i can use the touchpad gesture and then i can just slide through multiple workspaces like a slider until i reach my destination and do anything i want yep and yeah by the way i've already created about amazing productivity application which included this beaver notes application yes it is damn good literally good and if we are talking about notes, then yes, mark text is my go-to, not go-to, my everyday database, workspace management, well, my notes application, all in all, it is like a notion alternative for me. And then Groom appearances are pretty great, like really, I can switch between any cursor, icon, shell theme, legacy theme, anything. Yes, I know you get all of these options in different distributions as well. But then just tell me one thing, can you get such a beautiful and reliable experience out of the box in any of those distributions? And then not to forget the OG amazing application by GNOME, which is GNOME Softwares. This is literally just beautiful. Now I'm on Arch Linux and it only has flat packs and looks like there is an update of freedom. Well, it is just some backend package used to run the flat pack you know apps now leaving that gnome software is a pretty informative easy to use and maybe just the best thing ever created for linux 
I can just for I can literally search for any application like for example I want Steam now I can just go there there and install it just that nothing else you see you cannot do that on any other distribution well you can do that in any distribution I'm talking about you cannot do that in Windows so yeah and then groom software actually gives you more like all the details you need the download size whether the application can access my devices and files and in how many devices it is available and what is the re ratings of it and then is it open source or proprietary the reviews from some people like yes all the GNOME applications are crafted with perfection and it doesn't stop there it goes on and on whether we talk about this beautiful GNOME console yes man it looks it looks damn good let's try edge top there we go and then all the applications here actually work damn good you know what i wish for i wish there could be a literal literally like this a wish of mine i wish there was like an operating system which included only the gnome desktop and flat packs that's it no package manager nothing nada literally just imagine sir something like that and yeah it could run app images and some packaging formats but it would have no ties with Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, Minjaro, anything, nothing. Just imagine it would be super lightweight, super smooth, super amazing and pretty minimal in my opinion. I'd definitely install it. But then Arch Linux gives me all the power I need to do anything I want. Literally, I installed a full-fledged DaVinci Resolve Studio version. There we go. As you can see, it is the stu Studio version 19. And yeah, I did some, well, let me just tell you then i installed the wing all studio version by some indian jugar only indians know what i'm talking about so let's just get back and most of videos these days are being edited here literally and the editing project works pretty damn good like yes the whole editor works flawlessly all the all the things work amazingly like the wing resolve studio is just amazing you see, in Windows, I just could not use something like that at such pace, maybe like the level of multitasking here is just amazing. Literally, man, just amazing. And yeah, just like a few videos of mine recently, this video is not for any informational purposes. It is just for me telling you my experience with GNOME desktop environment and why I like it so much. And yes, let me just give you a short answer. Okay. So I've been trying a lot of Linux distributions, for example, Mincharo, Fedora, and then Fedora's Cosmic version. Then I actually recently reviewed an amazing, like awesome WM desktop. It was like a Linux customization video. And there I made a statement that I'm going to try it. And after trying almost everything there, I have made the decision that I'm going to stay here on Arch Linux with GNOME desktop environment. I could have gone with awesome WM or Hyperland, but no, I want a full fleshed, beautiful, but working, usable and reliable desktop experience, which is updated every once in a while, like maybe twice a year, like that's the release schedule of updates of GNOME, maybe, but yeah, it works damn good. And I believe that's it for today. What else I have to talk about it? Like, yes, GNOME, I like GNOME and I use it every day for almost anything. Yep, maybe that concludes everything. And now let me just ask you something like, have you noticed that I've been wearing the same set of clothes in my past videos? Well, if you do, then you might have already guessed it. I created all of these videos in one go. Like as you can see upstairs, not upstairs, like at the top side, the time it is 3.10 AM. That means I've been creating so many videos the whole night. And that should explain why I'm wearing the same set of clothes because I've been recording all these videos in one night. So yep, don't forget to subscribe to support me for this such an hard work. Like, yes, it actually feels good to create videos about something I'm passionate about. But still, you gotta appreciate for my hard work. So yep, don't forget to subscribe and I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm Um signing up.